The Bible says in Psalms 23 that the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. And thou anointest thy head with oil. My cup runneth over, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me. I prepare a table before me the presence of my enemies, my cup runneth over. Listen to verse 6. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me. Mercy. The goodness, the mercy, the grace of God will be with me every step of the way on this side. Oh, how God loves us, even how we don't deserve the goodness and the mercy of God and how he present himself in the presence before our enemies. He loves us enough to keep the goodness and mercy before us. Look at this piece on goodness and mercy. The Bible says in Psalms 23, that his goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. While I'm down here, goodness and mercy will follow me. As long as I'm connected with the Lord himself, as long as me being a sheep who is connected to Christ, who is the shepherd, there are just some benefits that come with that. And, 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 and those benefits are his goodness and his mercy. Think about this. Shall follow me everywhere I go. They they follow me all the days of my life. They follow me while I'm asleep at night. They follow me when I'm on the freeway. They follow me through my daily activities. They follow me. Fret not to yourselves. The Bible says in Psalm 30, 17, evil doers, because his goodness and mercy are there to take care of that which is out to harm me. Story was told about the young man who used to ride his bike to work and he'd always travel across a major bridge. And on that major bridge, he noticed uh, that there was a man who had gotten out of his car and who's, he was about to jump off the bridge and commit suicide. The closer he got to him, the more he began to talk to the man and try to talk him down. But when he got close enough to grab him, he grabbed him and he held on tight to him, saved his life. Lord Jesus Christ have said in his word, once he grabbed you and I, once we accept him, Bob say no one can pluck him, pluck us out of his hands. Did you know that that's the goodness and mercy of Lord, God himself, who walk with us, who talk with us, who's with us through this daily journey? Listen, don't let go God because he won't let go you. His goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. God bless you. God keep you as a... Oh, 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 oh.